Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we are gonna do a polar bear craft. I found this polar bear cutout at Hobby Lobby and I thought he was really cute. And I thought what a great idea to make a little home decor. I think he's kind of fabulous just the way he is, but I'm thinking that we can make him a little bit more fabulous with little resin and glitter. So we're gonna change this guy up a little bit. And what I wanna do is, I like certain things about him, like his features and stuff. And we're gonna lose that when we pour the resin on there or we just paint everything white. So I'm gonna try to preserve that a little bit. And I'm just using my paint marker because I tried it on the back and it did not bleed. So I like that. This is not the thinnest marker in the world, but I think it'll be okay anyway. And I'm just gonna go like black on the ears and on the nose and stuff like that. So we're not gonna get all fancy. And I might use a little bit of my silver just for some other highlights. And the white paint isn't gonna cover black very well, so I'll be able to kind of keep track of where everything is. And you can do this with paint instead. I just thought the paint marker would be a little bit easier. So the silver is just gonna be as a little shadowy effect. So the silver marker doesn't work that well. So I'm gonna paint the rest of this gray. This is a little darker than I expected, but that's okay. We're gonna let this side dry and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna paint the back side all white. And remember, I like to paint the back sides of pieces of wood because a lot of times it will bow if only one side is painted. So you wanna do the other side and it goes back to normal. I know we've talked about that before and some woods don't seem to, it doesn't seem to happen to, but it's just good to be on the safe side. Okay, now that the back side is dry, I'm gonna just take my paint and go over everything on the front. And I also painted the edges. let this guy dry. What I'm going to do this time is the same thing. I'm going to take the gray and go over these shadowed areas just like I did before.
of white has dried and I have added the gray back in here. And I'm going to use my paint marker again. another coat of the white. Okay, now we're going to let this dry again. The paint has dried and we are going to do this one more time. And this time we'll do the gray again, but I'm not going to go quite as dark. dry and now I'm going to just flip them over and take some painter's tape and I'm going to just go around the edges and this will catch any of the drips and we'll be able to easily remove them this way. Then I'm going to just burnish it down And I'm just going to take my craft knife and cut off any of the excess tape. And then it will look like this. And now we can put the resin on the front. And he looks cute even without any resin on there. But I think it'll be fun because I want to put glitter in there too. And we'll see how he looks at the end. But I'm hoping he looks pretty good. Now here's a quick tip that I figured out not that long ago. If I put a little Vaseline on the edge here, it makes it even easier to get the tape and the drips off. I have our polar bear raised up so he's not laying flat. And I have the tape and the Vaseline on the back. Everything can drip off. And we'll see how he turns out. And I have roughly six ounces mixed. And I'm going to add some white glitter, and that's the chunky stuff. I have some fine glitter here as well. I'm going to dump all of that in, and that's white. So it looks very pretty. I'm going to add a little more of the chunky white, and now I'm going to pour it over the bear. and all over everything, the eyes, the legs, everything. And I want it to run down the edges because I want it to kind of seal them off and look finished. We're just going to dump all of that on there.
get all the resin on, you want to take your torch or your lighter and just pop the bubbles. And then we're going to let it sit a minimum of 12 hours before we even touch it. The polar bear has cured. Now we get to clean him up. And here you can see we have all of the drips and everything. But because we put that Vaseline on there, look at it, it pops right off. Just like that. Wish I had thought of that sooner. I used to dread the cleanup after, but this is so easy. Here is the polar bear all finished. The back is nice and clean. Here is the front and he is shimmery and glittery. Here's an up close look at the glitter and it doesn't mess up his nose or his eyes. I was a little worried about that. Um, and we kept the back paws and the back ear a different color, gray, just so it was like in the shadows. And here it is. So here was a, a pre cut piece of wood that I bought at Hobby Lobby and now we have this beautiful wall hanging. You can even tie like a red ribbon around his neck if you wanted to dress him up for Christmas. Otherwise he's great just on his own. You can put this on a shelf, lean it up as a decoration, or you can get those tabs to stick on the back and stick it right to your wall and it would be the non-damaging ones. It's the ones that I would suggest. And you have this great decoration. I hope you guys like the polar bear. I think he turned out pretty fabulous, all glittered up. So keep an eye out for different cutouts. Check the dollar store, check the craft stores. Um, check anywhere that you might be able to find these because they're fun and you can personalize them any way you want. I happen to do glitter and resin on this one, but I mean, you could just paint it. You don't have to put resin on it and you don't have to do glitter even if you did do resin. The possibilities are truly endless and there are so many great and cute ideas out there. If you're new here or if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And when you subscribe, hit the subscribe button and then there's also a little bell. Then you want to hit that and hit all notifications. Otherwise, you will not be notified when there is a new video. And I'd hate for you to miss anything. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.